look at you the whole time, right? I did just convert. <laughs> Forgot to ask. Oh. Let me uh, restart this real quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aloha everyone and welcome to the show that we like to call Lillian's Vegan World where we talk about the fascinating um, wonderful world of the plant-based diet and veganism. A huge welcome to all of you who uh, tune in every second Friday. I'm coming to you live from the beautiful uh, studio at uh, Hawaii Think Tech, which is downtown Honolulu. It's a beautiful day here. Um, thank you for joining the show. This month uh, is the second month for our, fun, uh, our funding. We do ask that anyone who enjoys the shows, please donate. It's tax deductible. Um, Think Tech Hawaii is a, we, we do run these shows on uh, donations, so would appreciate anything that you are able to give. Um, Aloha Friday today. I have a wonderful guest that I would love to introduce you to, my dear friend Terry Ledgerwood. Happy Friday. Happy Aloha Friday. <laughs> Welcome, Terry. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, I'm here because you asked me just, here. Just felt like coming just over. Just felt like for coming a chat. over. <laughs> Terry's um, a beautiful friend. I'm hanging of mine. out with you. Yeah. Well, awesome. I see that you haven't brought any goodies for me. Oh, I mentioned I forgot everyone. the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there's always time for that after the show. <laughs> I have asked um, Terry to come on the show today because we have something very important to talk about that I have actually I knew nothing about, and I'm yeah looking forward to hear to hearing what you have to say about acid reflux. Now the um, program I have named today. Dropping acid the <laughs> vegan way, <laughs> not the other naughty way. No. <laughs> so, uh, Terry, before we go on, please tell us about yourself. How long have you been here in Hawaii? I've been in Hawaii, I've been 28 years. Wow. And um, very yeah. spoiled. Yes, totally spoiled. <laughs> No, it's been great. We just love mm -hmm. living here and I'm married and we've just had a great life. We run our own business. We have uh -huh. a small business. We sell uh, accounting software, mostly mm -hmm. for property managers and construction companies. Wonderful. And um, yeah, so it's, mm -hmm. it's been good. You are also a very talented jewelry <laughs> designer and maker. It's my hobby. Um, these little beauties that I'm wearing on my ears, Terry actually <laughs> made for me. They're gorgeous. I love them. And the jewelry that you're wearing, you've actually oh my put bracelet, too, the my earrings, black pearls, yeah. gorgeous. Not this. Mm -hmm. I don't do cast cast jewelry. I it's just mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, well, they my hobby. Um, they're also acceptable donations <laughs> if you prefer the gift <laughs> side. We could definitely do that. No, it's just my hobby. I, one day when I retire, maybe I'll be able to do more of it. It's just super fun. Awesome. It's, um, yeah. it's good to do something that you enjoy doing yeah. because we're all here to have fun and enjoy life. So Terry, let's get to today's program, which is about acid reflux. I did uh, do some research into this as it's all new for me. I mean, I think all of us have, you know, or know people or have people around us who eat and you can see they have sort of heartburn or a little bit of um, discomfort. awkwardness, discomfortness after eating. So can I first just tell you or tell the viewers uh, a little bit about what acid reflux is? So the technical term for this is gastroesophageal reflux disease, otherwise known as GERD. Mm -hmm. I have to be careful when I speak because some people can't hear the R's in my <laughs> words. It's GERD. If if I GERD. just GERD or GERD, <laughs> G-E-R-D. So gastroesophageal reflux disease. It's a long-term condition where stomach acid persistently and regularly flows up into the esophagus. 
Is that correct? Yes, mm. definitely. I've had all of that over my course of eight years dealing with it. That's a long time. Yeah. So about eight years ago, I was diagnosed, and I remember the doctor okay. saying, this is a disease for life. And, you know, wow. I was just kind of happy to walk out the door and hear it was just that because it just really mm -hmm. makes you feel awful. You know, I thought there was something horrible, like with my yes. heart or True. something like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's been a long time, and I've had a couple of, we were talking before, endoscopies, and everything okay, is just okay. to make sure that everything is okay. Very important. Yeah. And I do want to do a quick disclaimer that today's show, yes. neither of us are professional <laughs> medical in the medical field. So yeah, be to sure say. to consult with your doctor or physician or medical um, expert um, before making any huge changes to your diet. So, Terry, eight years of this. Um, Acid reflux is also known as heartburn, acid indigestion, mm -hmm. or porosis, which is another term for heartburn. Hmm. Are these, what are the symptoms that you have when you're feeling this um, I discomfort? I think it varies for a lot of people, but for me, I, I would get extremely uncomfortable. It just, you know, it's, it's burning all the way up your esophagus. Mm -hmm. Sometimes... You know, at night you can actually taste it. There's a funny taste in really? your mouth. Okay. Yeah, and I've had. So it's definitely coming up and. Yeah, getting even into your yeah, reflexing. What right. they call, mm -hmm. but yeah. So and um, over the course of the years, you know, I've had sort of asthmatic type okay. of symptoms. I've had um, where the nasal passages get inflamed. Um, I had really? once where I had an infection in my lungs. It was just small. It wasn't a major oh, okay. thing, but, mm -hmm. you know, I had to get antibiotics. And they, the doctor thought that it's probably sometimes it comes up through the lungs and comes up and gets into the lungs somehow. Really? The piece, small piece of food gets in there and, and you get okay. a little infection, um, cough. Mm. And just, you know, it's just very uncomfortable and hard to sleep at night. It must be, yes. You know, well, I... I did read a lot about um, the symptoms and the occasional acid reflux is quite common. Mm -hmm. A lot of studies are saying between 10 to 20 percent of Westerners, American Westerners, are suffering from this. That's, that's quite a huge amount a lot. of the population who yeah. have this discomfort. Um, it is. And it often occurs as a result of overeating. Mm -hmm. yeah? Light, and yes. lying down, you did say when you lie down, you can really feel that burn. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, when you eat particular food. Definitely. Foods, and it occurs when the sphincter, the opening at the bottom of the esophagus becomes weak or opens when it shouldn't. So yeah, this is I've been how told it, it's a muscle. Mm -hmm. And that items like if you eat things with fats in them, the muscle will relax. And this is just what I've been told by my doctor, you know, again, I'm not a physician. Yeah. But, you know, I've been told it, it relaxes when you eat fatty foods. And so um, that, in that mm -hmm. words, more acid comes up. Yes. Um, so that's right. one thing. And then it gets stretched out if mm -hmm. you overeat. I mean, I, I'm not a huge overeater. Okay. Um, but I, I just, uh, and my doctor did tell me that some people mm -hmm. simply overproduce acid. And, okay. and that could also be it too. Mm -hmm. I don't eat big cheeseburgers and steaks every yeah. night. Okay. But uh, you know, there are, I just get to the point where there are small things, even mm -hmm. like occasionally I'll have like a cracker in it. I can feel it. It sets it off. It sets it off. Mm -hmm. Little things that'll set it off. Okay. You know. Um, Gosh. So the reason why I've asked you to come on the show is because <laughs> you've had a, a bit of an epiphany somehow. Yeah. So a few months ago, I'm trying to think when it was that you I and I, was, you first sat at my dining table. Yes, that was, I think it was around Christmas. Yeah, or, or after just January. after Jan I'm thinking January. So for the viewers out there who don't know, I am a vegan chef and I do seven course vegan dining, lunches and dinners, private dining, um, dinners and lunches here too. And you were a guest at my table for one of these seven-course vegan dinners. Now, what happened after you? Well, <laughs> first of all, tell us how it was. <laughs> well, I was lucky enough to come for one of your, if you haven't been, you have to go. <laughs> Fabulous seven-course meals. It Thank was you. excellent. And, you know, it's just, wow, a different way to look at vegan food. Mm -hmm. You know, it's fine dining, beautiful 
food. Thank you. And yeah, really enjoyed it. You know, I ate almost everything on my plate. And, and, <laughs> and then later on, I thought, you know, even as I was driving home, I kind of thought, I am going to be so uncomfortable <laughs> because I ate, you know, okay. all this food. I tried yeah. to eat smaller amounts and so forth. And in fact, what happened and after fact, this huge meal? Because I, seven courses is yes, a lot of food. Seven courses is a lot of mm -hmm. food. And I felt fine. It was amazing. And I was like, man, there just has to be something uh -huh. to the vegan diet mm -hmm. in helping with acid reflux. Um, was this the first time that you ate a vegan meal, like in, in that sort of structure, so much at one time, all plant-based? Was it the first time? Yeah, or? I mean, on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, okay. occasionally, I, mean, I love veggies and vegetables mm -hmm. and so forth, and I eat uh, like the veggie sushi occasionally, yep. which mm -hmm. I really love. But and a salad and, and a of salad, course, you know, roasted veggies, stuff that you would see on a nor in a normal American yeah. diet, I guess. Yeah, and but I never purposely went to eat just a vegan meal. Okay, you know, so mm -hmm. it was kind of my first eating a full vegan meal mm -hmm. on purpose. Okay, you know, and it, you felt okay. I after. did, and you know, okay. I also I have an adjustable bed, so that helps, mm -hmm. and that. It definitely helps, but it's never made it go away. And okay. I, I, it was a marked difference from the way I typically would have felt okay. after eating that much mm -hmm. food. Really, I felt almost right. perfectly fine. Interesting. Yeah. So that's pretty huge. It when is. When you consider that you have been dealing with this for eight years, that's a very long time. And then suddenly you have one meal mm -hmm. and you feel okay after it. So this is quite huge. Huge. Yeah, I mean, and I'm so glad that um, this has worked out for you. Yeah. Since then, you have been. Yeah. So since then, I've been vegan by night. <laughs> vegan at evening. Vegan at evening. Rhymes. It's like it's like <laughs> joy to my ears when I hear that someone's going vegan at, at evening. But yeah. you're doing this because it makes you feel better. Yeah. So, so when I go to sleep at night, I sleep better. I'm just more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Um, because that's the thing a lot, you know, in the day when you have a meal, walking okay. around, things wear off, but mm -hmm. at night you tend to be more, uh, you know, you're sitting around a lot more. Okay. Um, so for me, if I eat vegan at night, mm -hmm. I feel fine when I go to bed, you know, awesome. I wake up in the morning without that. Remember I was telling you I have a taste in your mouth yes. sometimes. Okay. I don't have that, that. Okay. Um, and you know, even I have the adjustable bed, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I would still even feel that after eating a normal meal. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. So yeah, I, I, it's that's, just, like you said, it's that, kind of a bit that's of an great. epiphany. Yes, it is an epiphany, and I hope that anyone who's watching this show like really takes this into consideration that perhaps making some changes to your diet really may help with this unfortunate you know, acid reflux, if that's what you're suffering from. Definitely something so, that has helped. Yes. You know, um, it just... You know, it's never something, and this is something the doctor told me, you know, it's never going to go away. It's just, mm -hmm. and he even told me, and I don't, I haven't seen much of this on the internet, but he said, even if your mom or dad didn't have it, someone in your line did, he okay. seems to think that it was, and I don't know, mm -hmm. it's one doctor's opinion, but he seemed to think okay. it had some, some component of genetics. Okay. Um, well, we are going to go to a break soon, Terry, but we do have to talk about ways you can prevent this. Like any, any, any health problem you have, it's not about popping a pill and fixing the pain. You know, I think this is one thing that uh, people like myself who live on a vegan diet, on a plant-based diet, um, really do, do take into consideration that you know, popping pills, it's not, it's not the magical, yeah. you know. It covers it up. It, it covers it up, yeah. but the problem's still there. Mm -hmm. So we will, after the break, talk about, you know, some ways you can relieve this and um, some things to incorporate into your diet that may help. Again, you know, becoming vegan or um, entering onto a plant-based diet isn't a magical thing no. either. It doesn't <laughs> fix everything by it any means. It does not. Especially, you know, when you're coming from a lifestyle that has not been very, you know, health, you haven't been health conscious about how you eat and stuff. So everything takes time. but. I'm glad to hear that in only a short few months, like yeah. five months, I guess, you're already feeling better. So, mm -hmm. yes. Definitely. Mm. Yeah, I have definitely felt a lot better mm -hmm. doing that. 
Um, and even, you know, one of my big triggers is caffeine, you okay. know, and who doesn't like a cup of coffee, mm, you yeah. know? Well, Terry, um, let's, let's talk about that. Yeah. Let's go to a quick break. Um, stay tuned. See you in a bit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming salamat po. Mabuhay and aloha. Welcome back to Lillian's Vegan World. Today we are talking about dropping acid the vegan way and how uh, adopting or adding more of a plant-based diet to your to your lifestyle can actually relieve some of the symptoms involved with uh, acid reflux. My guest here, Terry Ledgerwood, is uh, talking to us about her journey. Well, not journey, but in, say, the past five months, you have adopted a somewhat, somewhat of a vegan um, diet, especially at night. Mm -hmm. And to sum it up quickly, it has helped. Definitely you. has helped me. Yeah. It's so. just helped me every day. It really mm -hmm. has. Awesome. So, Terry, here is how a vegan diet can relieve acid reflux, according to some professionals. Uh, there was an article in One Green Planet where they talk about fiber and how it is important for those suffering from GERD, from the acid reflux, because it promotes intestinal health and it protects the esophagus from acid exposure. Uh, consuming a vegan diet is an option for fighting GERD because it's, now here's an important point, because it is rich in anti-inflammatory foods and the plant foods contain phytonutrients that possess antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties that can counteract gut inflammation caused by GERD. Mm -hmm. So the anti-inflammation, that's, a, that's yeah. a huge thing too. You it were is. talking about before the show about how, how your esophagus gets, it gets just inflamed basically. Mm -hmm. And it's amazingly painful, you know, it and it takes be, yeah, a while is. of eating just, <laughs> I mean, I've gone on rice and bananas. And wow, just to and just that's kind of what I had to do to just get it to really cool down and uh -huh. relax. And and I've had that happen, I think, twice when it was so seriously inflamed mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, um, that's sad because you don't you don't want to be no, forced that's no to eat fun. stuff. Yeah, that's no fun. <laughs> you have to enjoy what you're yeah, you know, um, eating. It's a huge part of the joy of life. Mm -hmm. um, well, here are some things that you can eat to reduce acid reflux again. I'm not a professional, but just, you know, um, researching and listening to what people who have been suffering with acid reflux do and what some of the experts are saying. So Sonia Angelone, a registered dietitian and spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, also recommends a largely plant-based diet for managing acid reflux. A diet high in healthy foods like beans, vegetables, and nuts tend to calm inflammation in the body, whereas a diet heavy in processed foods does the opposite. Uh, she goes on to say that there has been a growing understanding of acid reflux as an inflammatory disorder, and that the acid itself might not do the real damage. The body's inflammatory response may. Mm. So there's another aspect component another yeah, yeah another view it. that you might have to um the inflammation think about the inflammation so the doctor uh, sorry sonia angelone does say quote unquote make healthy changes to your diet that you can live with for the long haul your diet choices matter they matter in your risk of chronic diseases down the road and 
in more, in more immediate symptoms like acid reflux. So that's something that vegans like myself who get out there and try to um, promote this lifestyle always say. You know, make these changes that are realistic that you can live with. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, not so yeah, it's not a diet. Yeah, it's not a diet. Diets don't work. Mm -hmm. Veganism is not a diet. You know, the, the plant-based diet is not a diet. It's a lifestyle. And, you know, the, the more changes you, changes you can make um, that are sustainable and you're happy with living with, do make those changes. Yeah, absolutely. So, Terry, what to eat to reduce <laughs> acid reflux? Here we go. So here's one thing that I do every single morning before when I break the fast for breakfast Take a shot of raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Just mix it with warm water. Um, it has alkaline pH, which helps the body from becoming too acidic. Now, mm -hmm. um, the people that I saw on YouTube that are suffering from acid reflux, a lot of people talked about this. A shot of raw apple cider apple vinegar cider. mixed with water, warm water. So adding, adding whole grains, mm -hmm. high in fiber, obviously, because fiber keeps you regular. Mm -hmm. you Helps don't... move stuff through. It doesn't sit there yeah. and... Yes, exactly. So need more acid. Foods like oatmeal are great for an anti... Uh, sorry, for acid-reducing diet. Do you eat oatmeal? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that... It helps? You it don't... does help. Okay. Especially... Um, yeah, it does. You know, as opposed to breakfast in the morning rather than eating... My husband grew up on a farm. He likes eggs and sausage. Yes. Um, if I have oatmeal, I'm good. If I have that, then I suffer a little bit, just uh -huh. starting out in the morning, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. So Not I, it, the best thing to no, have in the morning. But but I think oatmeal is another thing that's super, very soothing for mm, them. Yeah. So they do stomach. recommend that. Obviously, add more non-citrus fruits and vegetables that don't trigger the heartburn flare-ups. Bananas, melons, apples, pears, leafy greens. Cucumbers, asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, and potatoes. I noticed there was no champagne in that list. No champagne. So none of that. <laughs> cutting out soda. Yeah. Um, cutting Alcohols. out soda is also um, helpful in re relieving the symptoms. Um, you mentioned as well, soda doesn't work for you. That soda triggers the work. acid reflux. Yeah, anything with carbonation. It okay. bothers carbonation. Mm. Um, really kind of ratchets up the acid production, yes. I think. It okay. does not me anyway. Mm -hmm. um, well, I also like coconut water helps. Really? Coconut water for me uh, really helps. Mm. Um, okay. As That's a drink, good to know. something to drink during the and day. And it's also delicious, really refreshing. Coconut, mm -hmm. also another anti-inflammatory. And I think it's food. alkaline. There's something to do with the alkalinity of it okay. too, the so, pH of it. Um, that I've noticed that's something that's mm -hmm. always helped me or kind of has over my journey of eight years <laughs> awesome. with it. I'm so glad that um, you are feeling better and this um, just adding more of a plant-based diet mm -hmm. to your lifestyle is helping. So Terry, a lot of my um, friends and people who watch the show, all the 10 million people of you who watch <laughs> the show, thank you so much, um, do ask why I don't talk about what I'm doing here on the island in Honolulu. Um, and as this is Lillian's Vegan World, I would like to tell you a bit about what I do. And Terry, when you are adding a plant-based diet to your lifestyle, here are some things you can eat. So I'm gonna show the first video. And the video is of food that I have cooked in the past two weeks at some of my events. So I love Japanese food. Um, lots of whole grains, lots of whole foods. Yes, all of the food. That is barley, miso soup, fermented yes. foods, very good for Love you. that one. Mm -hmm. Some tofu scramble. That's a gyoza. What do you call gyoza in English here? Those Chinese dumplings. dumplings? Okay. Yeah, I guess we call mm -hmm. it a dumpling. Some orzo with a mm, porcini mushroom, lemon cake. I've uh, had several this... of those, and I love every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> They've been really good. Thank you. I did a um, cooking demo at Down to Earth uh, two weeks ago, two cooking classes, which were really fun. You came to one of them. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, got some great recipes. They were awesome. Thank you. And this is at one of my uh, cooking classes that I teach here. There's my fav famous uh, cheese sauce. <laughs> 
scrambled oh. tofu, uh, those pancakes for brekkie. Sandwiches, <laughs> those are good. Yeah. <laughs> And that's, um, that's something that my fiancé asked me to make. He wasn't feeling well last week, so he, and he was craving chicken noodle soup. So I made him some noodles with um, plant-based meatballs. That, Yum. That tasted yeah. pretty close to it, but yeah, plant-based. I was just watching on TV um, this morning. There oh. was a news report on one of the financial shows mm -hmm. about that company of the burgers... Uh, beyond beyond burgers, yeah. burgers uh -huh. and how well they're doing yeah i mean they're doing incredibly well yeah, yes it's amazing yeah so there's more people getting on <laughs> yeah and uh, a lot of people that eat those burgers aren't vegans yeah because probably. i'm a vegan and i don't eat those burgers <laughs> because they look they look too similar to the real they thing do. and it just for me psychologically Something that looks like meat, I can't. It just doesn't work for it you. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> but I'm, you know, I, I support any of those products out there that are giving people like myself and people like yourself the option to choose mm -hmm. between, you know, plant-based and non-plant-based. And my -based. husband just, he thought they were great. And so he's, See? I'll, he will. This is someone who grew up on a farm. Yes. <laughs> and he loves his meat. He'll probably never, never. He will probably, he'll yeah. always be, you know, yeah, have well, keep me. It's not everyone's journey to no. be vegan and you but don't have to. to. You just have to take care of yourself, make sure that you're healthy and happy and satisfied in the lifestyle that you are, you know, yeah. into. So let's have a look at another slide. I did bring some pictures with me this time. So, um, Crave magazine, which is in the Star Advisor, did an article on my cheeses. I don't know if you saw that. It was two weeks ago. So they did a really great article for yeah. me. Um, thank you so much, Jolene, for the article. I loved it. Uh, nice. This one is one of my seven-course fine dining vegan dinners, which I am having holding tonight and tomorrow night. Um, tickets are on sale at Eventbrite. This is a lunch, uh, a lunch that I made, just a little bento for some friends, scrambled tofu, some of my cheeses, the vegan cashew cheeses, a little Delicious. platter there. Very good. My I cheese that. sauce that goes so on nachos. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. You can it just is. like swim in it. Uh, it there's, is. yeah, that chicken noodle soup, but the vegan version, which is just, I used kombu dashi, the kombu seaweed broth, and some vegetable so stock. So flavorful. Yeah. Just and the, the meatballs flavor. were frozen. I wanted to say a huge mahalo to Down to Earth. Um, I really enjoyed the two cooking demos that I did there. They were really fun met a lot of nice people i did basic japanese food so yeah it was great and that's all <laughs> stuff you can find yes. that's a good thing some you know? girls from japan who came over to take for a holiday and then took my class one of my cooking classes so that's what i've been up to on the island i'm getting around <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so i i'm a vegan chef um cooking instructor and lifestyle coach so i i hope that you do see me somewhere on the island if you do reach out and say aloha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And if, if, if you have a chance, go to one of your dinners. are just fabulous. It was, Thank you, Terry. It really was, and I'm not just saying that. That's why you put it friends was. on the show, because they, they say nice things about you. They have to. They're friends. <laughs> it really was excellent, though. No, I mean, thank I just, you. Yeah. It's, and again, it makes you look at vegan food in a whole new light. Yes. You know? And, um, you know, having you on the show has been awesome, Terry. I thank you so much. And it has, honestly, I've learned something from this and something that I didn't know, that there is um, somewhat of a connection between acid yeah. reflux and the, the plant-based diet. So if you are suffering from that, do, do your research, ask your physician or doctor, you know, if they recommend you eating more plant-based foods. And I did ask I mine, by the way, just to, just. He did say that the last time I was in. I awesome. said, I went to this vegan dinner and, you know, you I go. felt great afterwards. And he said, it's just a matter of fact. It takes less acid to break uh -huh. down all that food. Yeah. Well, there you go. Another reason to go vegan, um, <laughs> live la vida vegan and be healthy. Always take care of yourself. Thank you so much, Terry. Thank you. Appreciate you coming on the no show. No problem. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Aloha.